like with the journeys that train us on how to do that, and I'm, I'm just thrilled. Okay, well, hey, Ken, thank you. I have you down. That we'll get you signed up to get um, coming out for an hour or more. I really could use some help, but either way is fine. Good afternoon. Uh, just to give the report from the state senatorial district in the 48th senatorial district, there's a there's a little known piece in Western Lancaster County that we have a great, not just candidate, not just future state senator running in the 48th district, but just somebody who's a humble public servant and has been in Lebanon County as a commissioner there for a decade now, just about. Um, Joe Allen Litz for state senate uh, is going to run, is going to win, talk about these solutions as, she, as it relates to important issues for Lancastrians like farmland preservation, renewable energy, and jobs. Joe Allen Litz for state senate. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, or good afternoon it is by now. It's a pleasure to be here in Lancaster County. And I know this map is small, but talk about gerrymandering. This is a 48th senatorial district. Right here is Lancaster County, and I met some wonderful people today from that area. I'd like to let you know that as a commissioner for three terms in Lebanon County, I have been a minority commissioner and fought every day to do the right thing. I will take that experience and leadership to Harrisburg for you and I will represent you well, I can promise you that. My points that I will bring along as I develop my campaign, as Ben said, include farmland preservation. Back in 1989, I was chair of the League of Women Voters and introduced the concept of farmland preservation to Lebanon County. Ended up then serving on the local board. When I was elected commissioner, I became the liaison to the conservation district and the Farmland Preservation Board, and now it is a privilege to serve at the state level on the Farmland Preservation Board. You can see this is not just a fad or something popular to do. This has been a life work. I know about energy deregulation, and I also know that our renewable energy is something that will go hand in hand with our local farms to make them sustainable, whether it's solar or wind or the digesters that go along with it. Whatever it takes to make those farms sustainable, it will also benefit our local communities and our farmers and our economy and our pocketbooks individually because we'll have energy that's created right here and it's not being brought in from overseas and it's putting a lot of it back into the grid so that we can keep it affordable. In addition, I'd like to retain jobs. I think that it's important in this economy to support our local businessmen. To that end, I like to take pictures and videos and things, and I'll be doing YouTubes of local businesses in my district and highlighting them as features on my website. So if you know of someone in the 48th district who has a great family business, please let me know. We'd love to highlight them. And finally, there's a school property tax issue that is just putting people out of their homes, whether they become unemployed or a spouse passes away or they become retired. They can't afford to pay all the taxes that they did as they were working. So I have looked at Senator O'Pake's proposals and I find those quite acceptable and we'll be supporting the elimination of school property tax. I, I say all of those things because I know that one person cannot do it, but as a team it can be done. And this election can be won because I don't whip out the Constitution and go on and on. We all love the Constitution. We all honor and revere our, our, our ancestors who created this Constitution for us. But it doesn't become a prop with me. I, I don't just talk the talk, I walk the walk. I could go on, but you have many candidates to hear from, so I'll close with this. You can't be involved in politics and not expect me to ask for money. <laughs> maybe you don't have a candidate in your district, maybe you do. But if you have been blessed with a job or finances in some way, and you can afford $20.10 a month between now and the election day, please send it my way. You can do it on my website, 
you can drop it in the mail. I have cards over here. I really need your help because we can win this race, but it's going to take a team effort. My group is known as Team Lids. Thank you. <laughs>